Welcome back to Let's Play Finny Fencer F Advent Dark Force. We're in the midst of the third pathway where we awoke the vile god early. We put the whoopings on him. Now the goddess is taking control of everything and now she's public enemy. Or this new Justice Society and the Septarian Club going after um, former members of Dorfa, one of which are one of our party members, uh, Galdo who may or may not be with us anymore. Uh, most of them are down here in this brand new area, the Justice Society camp. Prisoners of this new... So this is where they're being held. Justice Society. It's less a camp and more a prison. Whatever you want to call it, this is where the former Dorfa executives are being held. If you wind up here, they either work you to death or make an example of you in one of their public executions. So either way, they don't make it out alive. What do we do, Fang? Should we try and find a gap in the guard's patrols? Or maybe plan a nighttime infiltration? Don't be stupid. Like, I've got a chicken out now. We're going in through the front door, naturally. What? But we don't have enough... Hey, you! What are you doing over there? Uh-oh. Not good! They spotted us! <laughs> I was planning to charge in head first anyway. This saves me the hassle of picking my first target. I was about to say, we're finally going to do some, uh, tactical espionage action? I'm like, that's not really Fang's style. Yeah, I'll probably give it a try. Fighting Team Plasma over here. They were kind of churchy types. Or at least had the holier than now part. Pokemon equivalent to PETA. I don't know if this is the same as the ranch or not. The layout looks the same. The dungeon looks the same. At this point, they could just up and do something like that. How could this happen to me? I was once president of the magnificent Dorfer Corporation. I was destined to become king of the new world. What karmic punishment is this that I must suffer forced labor in a place like this? Mr. President, please get back to work before the guards start whipping us again. These people are positively relentless. You there, enough chit chat. Ah! I'm sorry, uh, we're working, see? <laughs> I wanna go home. Give me a break. This is why all you Dorfa heretics are... <laughs> What's going on? President Kanagota! Haida! Marissa? What are you doing here? And who are these people? We're here to bust you guys out. What? Oh, thank goodness! A gift sent from the heavens. Marissa, is Galdo with you? No. Baldi can't resist. Hold it right there, heretics! Damn, they already caught up. You have disrupted our justice and order. In the name of our mother goddess, you must be punished. Hey, watch your mouth. Don't use the goddess's name without permission. Mr. President, what should we do? Should we ask Marissa to help us? No, just the opposite. If we defeat these fencers, do you not think they would grant us a full pardon? Defeat? You mean you want to fight them? That's right. Think about it. They're already criminals, right? What good could possibly come from joining them? Siding with the Justice Society is the only profitable move here. If we really impress them, they may even consider us for the Septarian Club. And if that comes to pass, we may have the chance to set our aim at the top of the world once more. But, Mr. President, they're right here offering to save us and everything. Cease your prattle. If you truly were one of the four heavenly czars, I'd expect you to wipe the floor with these ruffians. <laughs> what? You expect me to do all the fighting, too? So, Kaida, what are you going to do? Win or lose, you don't have much of a life ahead of you. Come on, I'm already desperate enough as it is. Okay, Sensei. Help me be strong. Setsuko? It's the name of my darling wife. Vivian, fair eyes. Okay, Kaida. It can't be Sierra. 
serious. Uh, fine, bring it on. Out of my way. Let's Guess some old habits die hard. Still, just the two of us? This could be problematic. He's not hitting that hard, but... He's not trying yet. Okay. Thank you, take it. She's still like 20 levels lower. I could run it and... Yeah, you said that before. Mm, he's Pyga. Am I gonna have a Dorfa boss rush down here? Hmm. It doesn't make sense not to. I guess they take those keys away after a while. They're all blocked on all sides here. I guess this is a revisit then. Still. Right home on the cast Neptunia. Which of course I'll be returning to once this game completes. Whoop, I see a smash ball. Nope, that one doesn't count. Whoop! You guys probably have keys, don't you? Jailer captains. Yep, yep, that's what it be. Got the white key. Can we open these up yet? Can I get that? Oh, it's because it's on the other side. That's what I'm looking at. Let's have a look see. Okay, the white key is straight ahead. If these are new areas. I'm going to want the other ones to see. That one's closed off. Okay. At least for now. Can I find other keys? Anybody around here? No. Probably going to come back around. The sign's open. Need yellow for these guys. Oh, need another key for that too. Let's go this way. And you. Found you! You can't hide forever! Oh, I actually didn't get keys off then, did I? I said none. Jailers, right? Yeah, here we go. Really? Damn heretic, damn heretics. Not yet. They endured. Not yet. Still none. What the shit? Suffer no evil. Are you sons of son of a bitch is holding the goddamn keys? Suffer no evil. What about here? Need a red key for that. Damn it. Can I get away from these guys? I could put the watcher cards on you. Make you stronger. Is the board escape up? Is there SP? Since it's just the two of you here. You don't get stored stuck in you. Your DLC, you don't count, so. This might give me a little bit of a, a boost. 
court justice. Get ready. Next. Get out of here. Pink key, okay. Making progress. All well, the pink doors are at somewhere. Got me running all around this level. Wait, what was on this side? This side's actually open. The red here. Looking white and pink so far. Maybe backtrack a little bit. That's red also. No doors. Oh, pink over here. We're going around again. Just been around to keep an eye out for the soldiers. That. Oh, wait a minute. One of them isn't. One of them is that secret wall again. Hey! And they put a key there this time. So I get the blue key now. What's on the end here? Some treasures. I should put those on you real quick. Don't know if I have you guys equipped yet. Yeah, you got... That might help. Oh, I'm back on the first floor to use the Azure key here. So I'm going to go and get open this up. With the yellow key. Looking around. Let's see if this guy has it. Cool, he had the orange key. Can open his. Born. Wow, I hit it from there. There's another key here. Another burnt toast. Can I get a close up? I know I got it on the wall. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta put our cash glasses back on. Gotta make that money. More importantly, gotta make them more levels if I'm gonna... Maybe that will actually, actually will recruit any of the Dorfus to our party. People we haven't had before. Orange key. Now yeah, the Azure key so I can open these bad boys up. Yeah, this one's gonna be a lot of twists and turns back and forth. Oh, there's some on these sides too. If I can get in here. Like blue bunny. Castlevania map markers to know, like, okay, these, these go here. That looks like it goes all the way up, does it? I think that's closed off for whatever reason. Hold up. Nah, it's from that side, though. That's the thing. I gotta get up there, down here, and over. Probably that's another key there. I picked up the orange one, so I guess I'm going back up to see where that goes. Oh! Orange key goes in here in the second floor. That's another event. I mean, there's another fight. Anything in here? That's on the other side. Don't know if I can get there yet, can I? Or is there orange on that side, too? Could be. I need a yellow to get in there, though, which I don't have. Not 
the news. Be yourself. I didn't expect to see you in this world. I figured you and Bernard bit the dust along with the vile god. <laughs> I didn't want you to see me in this pitiful state. But very well. Kill me. I lost the vile god to affect everything. A quick death is better than a life of misery. You don't understand, Lady Mariana. We're here to rescue you. Rescue? Baldur betrayed Dorpa because of you, and now you claim you want to help me? You've got to realize none of that crap matters anymore, right? That bastard Sherman is controlling this entire world now. I'm telling you, all I want to do is crush his precious Septarian Club. I can't let that disgusting organization stand. Crush the Septarian Club. And now Fang's going around recruiting allies to help him do it. Lady Mariana, please, lend us your strength. <laughs> Why are you laughing? How could I not laugh? Dorfa was meant to usher in a new world. Everyone was to live under Dorfa's umbrella, where we would bring them all happiness. You're the one responsible for killing that wish. And yet now, here you are, reaching out your hand to me. It's a perfect comedy. Mariana, but more than anything, I cannot forgive Sherman. He holds false justice within his hands. Very well. I will toss aside my stubborn pride and join with you. I wish to help shape the world once more. So you're gonna join us? They're holding my fairy cholera somewhere further inside. Get her free, and we can begin discussing the details. They separated you two, but not Pika from his. Were they not aware of that? Yeah, I called it. No further in this way now. Human. Human. And yeah, I do have a crown now. For I am King Fang. Slayer of the Vile God. There were six of us when we did five other people with me when we did it. And I went spawning in there. Come in. Let's do this. Hmm. I should hold off. I guess some of the fairies around to heal that now. Might be a callback to that once I. Maybe one of you has it. Ooh, score. One of you had the gold key. Seems like I can open all this up now. Anything else I find. One in here. Open sesame. Here's the long one. Probably use that ether for Fang. Get his MP back up. Or SP, I should say. Now I'm over on this side, taking that way up. You're not a human. Whoop, this one's just hidden. Come in. Let's do this. Some of these, what you call back? Not a human. He's a human. Okay, I think that covers all the keys actually, because this just opened up, and now the safe spot. Shit up. Unless he's got another one here. There's a. Yeah, there's one more. Maybe he has it. There's like a gray key or a black key or something. 
If not, I got some, I got some hunting to do. Maybe back on a previous floor now with the gold key, I can open that shit up there and down there. Oh dear. I got some hunting to do. Oh, I needed the gold key, one of these cells down here in the first floor to unlock. Wow, they made me go all over it. Yeah, they did. Boy, howdy. Let's jet forward, but now I have them to continue and get out of here. Open that up. So which side's which? Is open. Nothing in them though. This side. Everybody out. Everybody out. Except that one. Lady Mariana, you're okay. And I'm glad to see you're safe as well. We rescued your fairy just like you asked. So now you're gonna keep your promise and help us, right? Very well. Use my power as you see fit. What? Lady Mariana, you're actually gonna help them? Yes, for the sake of a new world. Cholera. May I ask you to lend me your strength one more time? Of course! Anything for you, Lady Mariana! There they are! Over here! They certainly are tenacious. Cholera, let us teach them a lesson. Okay! Fair eye! Wow, she does join you! Wait, she's gonna be like huge then! When she transforms! What are you about? Coercion! That sounds pretty rough. If I were the enemy, I'd probably just run away. Seems like a pretty good fit for Mariana now that I think about it. Oh, wow, yeah. By the time you get here, they're probably going to be in, like, the 300s. Okay, it's that same old thing. She's just smaller. Cynical laugh. Might as well show you off somehow. You're not going to be contributing much till I get your ass into that... That XP grind again. Get you up to speed. It's great that we have Mariana with us and all, but where do we go from here? The Septarian Club is exceedingly powerful. We don't stand a chance against them with what we've got right now. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but Sherman was just ridiculously powerful. So why don't we start gathering theories from wherever we can find them? It seems like the Septarian Club has no interest in them. I have to assume all those theories are still sitting around waiting for someone to come along. Huh? But we have all the theories right here already. Those are from the old world, yes? This world is different from the past we all remember. I was able to do some research, and it seems that this world's theories exist separately from our own. Yeah? Then what happens when we collect all the theories again? Does the goddess re-revive and grant another wish? I honestly have no idea. Anyway, if all you're looking for is info on theories, I can provide that right here. For a small fee, naturally. Man, you're greedy. Can't you just toss us something for free once in a while? No can do! I'm not running a charity here! Your dedication to ripping people off really isn't any different from those sectarian bastards. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage! Now then, there's a slumbering fury in Bowie Valley. Got it! Nothing comes to those who wait! Onward to Bowie Valley! 
I don't expect our pursuers will follow us this far. Please, wait for me, Mr. President. Rejoice, Pyga. The light of the sun warms our skin. We are free. Yes. Yes, I can finally go home. I can see my family again. Yes! Hey, if you could reincarnate and come back as anything, what would you want to be? Huh? Wh who's there? I'd like to be an insect. Born in the summer, dead by autumn. Spend the time in between sending my cry up into the warm, clear air. Pyga, watch out! This guy's a fencer! Huh? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President! A fish wouldn't be so bad either. You have to keep on swimming, or you're dead. If I could be reborn as that fish... No! It can't be! Just what I had finally... Mr. President! No! No, 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 no! So, what's your pick? An insect? A fish? <laughs> you wanna be a dodo? I hate dodos. What freedom is there to be found as a flightless bird? No, I, I didn't! Don't kill me, please! I have a loving family waiting for me, a wife and kids, and I haven't finished paying off my mortgage! He's telling the truth. There's nothing to be gained from killing an insignificant little peon like him. I'm begging you, please! Spare me! Bad draw for you, being born a human. Better luck in your next life, friend. Wager whatever you got on a fish or an insect that can live free. Just a moment, Noyo. Hmm. Junon. This man was once quite the skilled business executive within Dorfa. And we're seeing him for the first time because... If we were to make him a Septarian, do you not think he would devote his entire being to us? Yeah. Does that mean he works for a Septarian then? Does that mean you're gonna spare me? Why, of course. Well, so long as you would be so kind as to buy some of our wine. Wine? How positively marvelous for you, Pyga. The current market value of this wine is a paltry two million gold per bottle. Two million? I couldn't possibly afford something that expensive. Then you're in luck. I would be thrilled to offer you a loan option. A simple payment of 100,000 gold per month for 40 months. That's double the upfront price. You're a monster. Well, we are a business after all. Or would you rather I let my associate Noye here shoot you dead and leave your corpse rotting in the sun? I'll give you three seconds. After which I'll need your final answer. Three seconds are up. Ah! You already started counting? Uh, okay, I'll buy it. Please, let me buy the wine. Oh my, you made me so very happy. You're simply the most wonderful man I've ever met, Pyga. Just when I'd gotten a taste of sweet, sweet freedom. <laughs> you might have been better off in the cell. Yeah, the sub event. That was a plane. This could be magical. Can I get more fears, or is that just what you call it again? I'm certainly gonna give it a go. What you call it over here? I'll get that. I'll get to that. There are the same enemies I've been fighting, Neo Caladrius. I'll be a much stronger since there's only two of us. Again, yeah, I'm not bringing her into on this. Mariana, I forgot I even had her. I was like, even the first fight almost took her out to nothing. Give her a watcher call, let her gain experience. Uh, when she's not in the party for now. I can still go in, bring in the other four party members that, uh, aren't in, but because I'm New Game Plus, they're in my reserved right now. But they're not part of the story, story, so. But I'll bring them in for, like, XP purposes and build them up. Yeah, no new Fury. Okay. I didn't think so. Worth checking, I suppose. Nothing I gotta worry about, so back to the Bui Valley. Hey, Frank. There's evidence that someone's been through here already. 
Yeah, not too long ago by the looks of it. Well, we came here to get the Fury before, so... But that was basically a different world, remember? We're back in the past, so this is technically the first time we've ever been here. Oh yeah, right. Man, this is so confusing. Okay, so, what's it mean? Someone else was here earlier? There's all kinds of weirdos wandering the globe. If they came because they know there's a Fury here, it could be another Fencer. We need to be careful. Now the reason I ported... I forget to mention it yesterday because I forgot. Um, doing that on a harder difficulty, the first path. Um, there's a trophy where you gotta take down like the final f uh, side content boss for Fury. The, that uh, that Imperial Gold Dragon, which is the party of... I think I think a part... I told you about Artemis at the top of the tower with all female party. You gotta go all male party for the Imperial Dragon, I believe. That's another trophy in and of itself. I do want to bring her in, but... Massively underleveled like that compared to the rest of us? Now's not a good time. Set in reserves, collect your XP over there. As I try to build you up, get points and such like that so I can make you stronger. God, who else could we get? I doubt Zank will join us. We'll just have to put him down, probably. Like the sick, uh, like the sick dog he is. Apollonius, maybe. Lady Mariana, there's something here. It seems to be guarding the Fury. Guess it works the same as in our old world. But we'll just have to take it out and get the Fury. Let's do this, Aaron. Okay, Fang. Out of my way. Dark Raven? Just you, eh? Doesn't look all that intimidating. He's got a lot of health to work through. But it's not hurting us any. Wait, can you steal from this? Doesn't have anything. I didn't see one anywhere. Hey, hold up. Something smells good. It smells like chamomile tea. Chamomile tea? Could that mean? We found her? <sighs> what a wonderful fragrance. A nice cup of chamomile tea after a hard day's work is pure bliss. Don't you agree, Keely? <laughs> Tiara! It's you! What are you doing here? Hmm? Who might you be? And how did you come to know my name? What are you talking about? It's me, Fang! Oh, you're alive. That's such a relief. Are you perhaps a stalker? That would explain your odious face. Yeah. <coughs> no matter how much the world changes, she's still the same rotten, black-hearted, stuck-up harpy she always was. At least she didn't turn into a full-on yandere. And yet, but, oh my! I must admit, I somewhat enjoy this new feeling. I wouldn't mind if you said a bit more. As if on cue. Uh, the same old Tiara, it looks like. Tiara, do you really not remember us? You don't remember traveling with us and standing by our side as we fought the Vile God? Vile God? I have no idea what you're talking about. I thought I made it clear that we are perfect strangers. Why are you all saying such creepy things? I suppose I understand if you're all stalker friends, but still. What do you mean, creepy? I'm sorry, but I simply do not have the time to deal with depraved stalkers such as yourselves. I have obtained my theory, so now I will take my leave. A good day to you all. Hey, hold on a second. Fang, we have to go after her. <sighs> Fang? Fang, what's the matter? Tiara's alive. Fang. That perverted, rotten harpy is still alive. I thought this world was completely different. But I've still got at least one old thorn stuck in my side. Fang, what you said was awful. But you look positively ecstatic. You're new, you don't know. What the hell are you talking about? 
It's okay, Thing. Even Marissa can see right through you. You're happy she's alive, right? You really don't have to hide it. Who says I'm happy? Okay, okay, fine. Anyway, let's head back to the inn. There's something I need to talk to you about. <laughs> That tiara isn't the tiara we knew? That's right. The only people who came to this new world were the ones who were around for the battle with the Vile God. But we'd already lost tiara by then. Which means that unlike us who were sent back into the past, that girl has been in this world all along. Yeah, I think that's right. Which would explain why she doesn't remember us. Now that you mention it, President Tanagata and Paida didn't seem to recognize Fang either. They may very well be completely separate from their other selves, with completely separate fates within this world. Okay, but what about Lola? She definitely wasn't with us during that battle, but she clearly remembers us all. Yeah, that part is strange. When you're as amazing a fairy as me, strange stuff can just happen. You'll just take any opportunity you can find for self-promotion, won't you? Ignoring Lola for now, I'm positive that Tiara's fate has changed. Not just her, either. Me, Galdo, all of us. Our fates have all been distorted. It's all thanks to that bastard Sherman. And maybe me, too. Because we wish for the world to change. Thing. That's exactly why I need to change the world one more time. With my own two hands. I'm not gonna watch anyone else die. I'll use my own power to reshape fate. Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna do my best, too. Lola, where can we find the next Fury? I thought you'd never ask. Next up is the Catechus Ice Cave. And you also got a side one. Is that on my own? We're just over in Bowie Valley. over there. Wait, do any of those? Sometimes swords will touch them and they'll get it. Okay. Oh, heal status disabled? Uh... Don't know if I want to risk that. Which one's... I wish I could see which one it was. I move that over somehow. But yeah, I'll be taking Mariana here to let her gain all sorts of leveling. That might actually make me, uh... Fang and Lola stronger as a result, cause, like I said, look at that, experience, 300%! Like if I can just show you real quick, although it might be a bad idea to do just the two of us. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just all, oh right, we're uh... Good thing we're strong enough to take on one each. Let's see, so that was three. Six hundred thou. New power. You're gonna level. You're gonna level. Sorry, I was not here levels. Harley. Pippin. Yeah, everyone's leveling. Everybody gets a level. You get a level, you get a level, you get a level. You get three levels because you're so under. <laughs> since we were here last time? Oh, you might be right. I should have brought my wool underwear. Oh, I have some. 200 gold a pair. Or two for 350. Limited time offer. Stop trying to sell us stuff all the time. I'm sorry to hear you say that. I was going to tell you about this portable hot pot set, but I guess... I'll take it, how much? Hey, knock it off! You can't go around eating hot pot in a monster-infested dungeon! Silence! I'm cold, and I'm hungry. If you want to mess around, please do it somewhere else. All your shouting has drawn the monsters to us. <laughs> These bunks are barely enough to warm me up at all. I just remembered. When we came here before, Tiara had a super running nose, didn't she? Oh yeah, I guess she did. I kept trying to get her to let me wipe her nose, and she finally just lost it. <laughs> yeah, she did. I was shivering half from the cold and half from terror. <sighs> hey, Fang? What is it? 
It'd be really nice to get everyone back together again. <sighs> yeah, it would. There used to be a monster somewhere around here, right? Yeah, and the Fury was inside it. <coughs> huh? That was... That was Tiara! Bring it on! You think I can't handle you, heretic? This is all a big misunderstanding. I'm not a heretic. Shut up! Everyone besides us fencers is basically a heretic anyway! <laughs> Tiara! It's you. The stalkers from the valley. <laughs> Tiara! You son of a bitch! How dare you hurt Tiara! Huh? Who the hell are you guys? You with the girl? Zoggy? Zoggy, is that you? Zoggy, it's Mariana. Remember? You devoted your entire life to her. So much so you offered yourself to her the last time we were in you gotta be shitting me like i never put up with a stone cold bitch like her zoggy zoggy so what you guys trying to start a fight then i guess you're all heretics you know what i do with heretics i kill them it seems his fate has also been twisted along with this world he was my personal guard in the old world i consider this my responsibility i'll take care of him myself out of my way. Let's I was thinking for a second, we're like we were gonna leave the party. I'm like, wait, no, don't do that. There's still only three of us. Only just now brought you up to closer to the 200 mark. Everyone else was. A barn change. A barn change. So I don't have all your watcher cards, but uh, I can show some stuff off. Kalara the Hellion. Not bad. Let's go. Yeah, she's not gonna get hit anymore. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that was the guns. Let's go. Anything else from you? Let's see. Yeah. You're another you're another white man, should I put made sure to focus on those? Hmm. Got a lot of the same old same old stuff, like you got um That's Galdo's wind stuff. Here's Pippin's uh Lightning based attacks. So yeah, she's probably a welcome party member there. Cool, your first boss, but you bastards! How dare you! Stop it, Soggy! You served me well in the past. But if you continue on this path of injustice, I will show you no mercy! Uh, Tiara! Tiara, are you okay? <sighs> she sustained some serious injuries. We need to get her back to the inn right away. Rejoice, Lord Sherman. This month's wine sales have exceeded expectations. Hmm. Meanwhile, we have this useless simpleton right here. Please forgive me, Lady Junone. Hold your tongue, worm. You have some nerve wriggling your way back here after failing to carry out Lord Sherman's orders. Please forgive me. <laughs> Please forgive me. And now he's simping for someone else. Don't you think he's had quite enough, Juno? Certainly not. The Septarian Club represents an exclusive chalet in which disciples of justice may congregate. The mere act of breathing the same air as this reprobate makes me sick to my stomach! Ugh, I can't take it! <laughs> Who was it that brought this useless freeloader into our presence in the first place? If you must know, the one who promoted Zagi from the camp is my secretary, Chiaki. If you believe she is at fault, ultimately the responsibility lies with her superior, me. If you want to blame someone, you must blame me. Lord Sherman. Hm. Very well. In deference to our Lord Sherman's superior sense of justice, I am willing to bury the proverbial hatchet. Paiga, how much does Zagi owe on his wine loan? Uh, let me see. About 380,000 gold. 380,000? Hmm. Well then, Zagi, 
Break your back for us and cleanse your body as soon as you can. Understood? Thank you very much, Lady Junon. Now then, after you let Feng and the others escape, they ended up meeting Tiara. This is a problem. You refer to the Vile God's blood? Indeed. During our battle with the Vile God, the crest appeared on her forehead. She is almost certainly a descendant of the Vile God, much like the Nar. Even if the world itself has changed, it's impossible to know if that blood has been completely purified. It is always best to trim the buds of misfortune before they can bloom. Very well. Then I shall assume the role of the gardener. Oh, are you sure? In the name of the Apostles of Justice, I will fulfill any order you may give me. Very well. Then I'll leave it to you to take care of the girl, Tiara. As for the other descendant, Juno, I believe I will leave that to you. As you wish, Lord Sherman. Tiara, you're awake! Mr. Stalker? What are you doing at my bedside? Did you perhaps bring me here while I was unconscious? So that you could commit unspeakable acts? I keep telling you, you've got it all wrong. But anyway, it looks like there's nothing to worry about now. You have Marissa's loving attention to thank for that. Yay! Yay! Huey! Thank goodness you are right. But who are all you people? Okay, I need you to listen very carefully. We're from the future. I knew your face was rancid. I had no idea your brain was too. You honestly expect me to believe such a ridiculous story? If you're trying to pull a prank on me, you could have come up with something much more convincing. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. We were traveling together, trying to collect all the Furies and revive the Goddess. But when we got all the Furies, we accidentally revived the Vile God along with the Goddess. We ended up having to take on the Vile God. And after that... Yes? After that? <sighs> the power of the Goddess awakened, and we were sent into the past. One different from our own. Basically, we got sent to this world of yours. <sighs> so, do you believe us? Of course I do not! I know that stalkers tend to suffer from megalomania, but this is truly terrifying! Such pitiful people cannot distinguish between reality and fantasy, and believe themselves to be unique in the world. Why does it always go this way? We're trying to have an important conversation here. If you don't stop, I swear I'm gonna deck you. Such sudden violence! Oh, but... Why is my heart pounding like this? Okay, verbal I get, but physical? Well, Miss Masochism over here. I'm beginning to think this girl is more trouble than she's worth. Listen, what about this? A girl like you shouldn't be out traveling alone. We're collecting the Furies too, so why don't you join us? You wish for me to join your group? Sure. What do you say? Absolutely not. What the hell? You damn harpy! <gasps> so wonderful! <laughs> Please let me think it over. Fine. You can spend the night here. We'll talk again tomorrow. These people truly believe their ridiculous story. I don't get the sense that they're lying. And that man, Fang, his face seems to dwell deep within some corner of my memory. Hmm. What do you think, Huey? Good morning, everyone. Yo, how'd you sleep? Very well, thank you. In fact, I suddenly remembered where I knew you from. Huh? So then, your memories came back? Nothing of the sort. I'm talking about this. What, what the hell is that? A wanted poster? You're Fang the Heretic. I knew your face looked familiar. Tell the truth. You're the fencer that the Septarian Club put a bounty on. Are you not? Yeah. You see, that's... How frightful. I nearly signed on with a gang of heretics. I do feel indebted to you for tending to my wounds. So I will refrain from turning you in. But could you please never show your faces around me again? Good day. Hey, Yara! Aw, oh, nuts, there she goes. Now what do we do? What can we do? Let's just forget it for today. 
If we keep collecting Furies, we're bound to run into her again at some point. So should we go looking for the next Fury? Or maybe track down some more Dorfa members? Dorfa? Do you have information about someone's whereabouts? Well, not the man himself. But the younger sister of Apollonius, one of the four heavenly stars, sells flowers in the town square. His sister? Do you know her name? Is it Emily? Oh, um, I think it could have been something like that. Do you know her, Frank? Yeah, kinda. So she's here. Okay, I'm gonna go find her. She might know where we can find Apollonius. Apollonius? Sorry, but I wouldn't waste my time. All he cares about is honing his blade. I can't imagine what you could possibly say to convince him to join with us. Yeah, but it's worth a shot. You ended up joining us after all, so there might be hope for Apollonius. Fine, do as you wish. I have no reason to believe you would listen to anything I had to say, so I'll leave it to you. Would you like to buy some flowers? Uh, hello, can I interest you in some flowers? Emily! Who are you? Oh, thank goodness. I've been looking all over for you. Um, I'm sorry, but do I know you? Uh, um, well, you see, I kind of know your older brother. Uh, my brother? Th then, are you a member of Dorfa? No, that's not... Jeez, oh, how do I explain? Huh? Anyway, let's just say I'm an acquaintance of his, and I really need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? Well, yes. We live together. Seriously? Oh, that's great. So can you take me to him? Okay. But when you see him, please try not to be too shocked. Huh? What do you mean? You'll understand when you see him. <laughs> Apollonius. Emily, is that you? Did you get my wine? Able to sell any flowers today. Then get back out there until you do. Have you already forgotten who's been taking care of you all these years? Stop it! Please! Just stop! That's enough, Apollonius! Who the hell are you? You're a complete mess! What's happened since the last time I saw you? Apologies, but I have no idea who you are. Emily! Why did you bring this man here? said he was an acquaintance of yours. And I was telling the truth. We've met before. Although it wasn't a world separate from this one. Are you sick in the head, boy? Get out of my sight. I'm telling you the truth. I know you used to work for Dorfa. <laughs> Dorfa. Now there's a name I haven't heard in some time. Apollonius, what the hell happened to you? Nothing. I simply grew tired of my way of life. What point is there to devoting your entire self to the blade? When Dorfa collapsed, all I had left were my long-rusted skills and my crushing debt. Debt? The Septarian Club. Once Dorfa was gone, they strongly encouraged me to join them, but only on the condition that I bought their ridiculously overpriced wine. So they've been doing that to everyone, huh? That is their modus operandi. Either you buy their wine, or they send you to the camp. I sold my soul to keep my sister fed. Apollonius. No matter what I did for them, my debt only kept increasing. Before long, I even found myself drinking their wine. Now, here I am. <sighs> hey, I know. Why don't you hire me? Despite how I look, I was once a, a famous swordsman. Surely, you could use a bodyguard, yes? One hundred gold. No, even ten gold is fine. Anything, as long as it lets me buy my next drink. You're nothing but a shadow of the swordsman who once stood as Dorfa's strongest warrior. I don't want to see this anymore. <laughs> Say whatever you like. I don't need pity from the likes of you, boy. I'm not a boy. My name is Fang. I came all this way, so the least you could do is remember the name. It's a damn shame, Apollonius. I really thought you'd be able to help us. I can't believe Apollonius could end up like that. To tell you the truth, I met Apollonius' sister in our old world. Wait, really? Yeah. 
She was on a journey looking to get revenge on the person who killed Apollonius. She was just a kid, you know? She told me she hated the fencer who had killed her brother. She hated him so much she couldn't handle it. I couldn't bring myself to tell her that her brother's killer was standing right in front of her. Dang. I never want to feel that way again. Which is why I was hoping I could save this world's version of Apollonius. It, it isn't your fault. The Septarian Club is to blame for all of this. They target people's weaknesses and exploit evil business practices. How many tears have been shed because of their actions? Are you okay, Lola? This isn't like you. Well, they made it impossible for me to run a legitimate business here, you know? It's a shame what happened to Apollonius. It looks like we alone will have to defeat the Septarian Club. And Sherman, I will shatter the brand of justice that they advocate. It's the only way to save the people of this world. Yeah, you're right. Fang! Help! Please! Tiara! What is it? What's wrong? Hmm. Are you associates of this woman? Huh? You... you're... Ray version of Pippin? Pippin? Hm. I am not familiar with such a foolish name. My name is Pappin. I am a servant of justice. Get Papa Pappin! <laughs> Couldn't resist. Also, holy shit, an evil Pippin? Pappin? Pappin? What the heck? Does this mean Pippin's fate has been distorted too? Heretics who would threaten justice. You are walking corpses. Clasp your sins to your breast and return to the depths of hell. W what? You saying you want to fight? His aura is so oppressive. This is no ordinary being. Everyone, be careful. You shall disappear. Prepare yourself. Ooh. Can we hurt him? Nope. I mean, this timeline, there's one of these fights. You ain't hitting at all. Just a little bit. Still a little bit under that gap. You survived a taste of my blade. How interesting. Such an achievement deserves a reward. I shall show you my special attack. Now, vile god's handmaiden, your turn has come. <gasps> vile god's handmaiden? If you must curse something, curse your own blood. The blood of the vile god flowing within you wants to destroy the world. It perverts justice. For the purity of justice, I will see you die here. No! Stop! Stop! Hold it right there! Huh? It has been too long, Father. Ooh! I knew it! F father Is that Great Pippin the real Pippin's dad? I severed our familial ties long ago, Pippin. What business do you have with me now? Isn't it obvious, Father? I'm here to put a stop to you! Only I am capable of waking you to the reality that you've lost control! Right, Soji. Indeed. But your father is highly skilled. Perhaps you would do well to request help from Fang and the others. Hm. A reasonable observation. Soji, heal the young sirs. I thought you would say that. And I have already finished. Whoa! Oh, my wounds are healed! Cool. You should be ready to rejoin the fight now. Everyone, please lend us your strength. Okay. This is absurd. You are amateurs, unaware of the true meaning of justice. And you would dare band together to stand against me? Pippin, can you possibly cast me down? It's not a question of whether or not I can. This is one fight I have to win. And that's all there is to it. Father, let us battle. 